Sorry we had to cut the other review part short, but yeah. So finally the Chronicle and the this is part three by the way. This is the Chronicle. The Chronicle shows when past games were released. It's, it's cool to look at, but I haven't browsed it much. You it's, basically just like you look can, at all these previous games for previous systems and stuff and you just look at them. They don't give you demos or anything, it's just you look at the games that you can unlock, but yeah, so. Yeah, it's kind of weird, kind of a useless aspect, but mm, it's there, whatever. Yeah. Options, you can change the aspect. Uh, Deflicker, which makes the screen uh, sharper or blurrier, based on what you like. Rumble, makes your controller rumble. You can change your controls according to your name. You can choose um, <clears throat> the balance between the music and the sound. So like, do you want the music to be louder and less sound effects, or do you want more sound effects and less music? Yeah. yeah you and then it. my music is you can change the likelihood of certain songs to be played whenever. So like, when you're playing on Battlefield, which song do you want to be played? The soundtrack in this game is huge. There must be like, look, sound test, music. There are, there have to be, I think there are two, how many songs are there? 256 or something? I have no clue. There are a ton of songs on this thing. It's, it's amazing. So yeah, there's just a lot, so. Finally, there's data. Movies, which are um, preset movies that they've recorded onto here. In Subspace Emissary, you can watch the cutscenes from it, but other than that, this is just how to play the game, uh, some E3 videos, and like ad ads for the game. Also, there's records, like... See, I told you he plays this too much. He's, he's had this game on for 500... 53 hours. Oh, I might have left it on a couple nights around <laughs> He's played, he's been well, in brawls for well, 369 I, minutes. No, well, I, I got this game on the day it came out. So this is like, what, two years ago, or two and a half years ago or something? Come on. Uh, and then you can look at the notices that you've got. And then sound test, you can listen to the music. Finally, we're gonna go through to the Wi-Fi connection. I say this is like one of the best options in the game, especially when you don't have anyone over and you don't feel like battling the computers because they're so retardedly easy. And so you just come to the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection and you can just play with random characters around the world or with your friends from their houses or wherever they are. Bad thing is, you have to use friend codes once again. Friend, I wish, I wish a certain a game would allow you to sign up with like a username or something, but no, nope, you have to use friend codes. Kinda dumb, but eh, whatever. I mean, Wii's not really known for his online now, is it? That's more right. PS3 but, and Xbox Live and all that kind of stuff. Right. But anyway, for example, with friends is based. Oops. Oh. oh. Basically, with friends, yeah, you just. You choose which friends you want to brawl with, and you brawl with them. You and can so create a room. You see which friends are online. I don't have any friends online right now, but <clears throat> yeah, you just check which friends are online. If any are, you can just play with them. You can arrange the day you guys can both go online, whatever. And then, you, besides brawling, you can also do a multi-man brawl, a co-op, or a co-op home run contest. And so that's pretty cool. Friend roster, this is where you just like edit your friends' names and add friend codes in and all that stuff and blah blah blah. Okay, and this is the best option with anyone. Basically when you're bored, you can choose to either do a basic brawl or a team battle or a spectator. Basic brawl is just a basic brawl. You go online, you find people, and you just brawl with them basically. You can also spectate matches and place bets of coins on certain players who you think are gonna win, but that's not, not such a good. I mean, why, why not just play a brawl by yourself? Yeah, it's like instead of watching someone's, it's like, eh, no. <clears throat> you can also do team battles. But the bad thing about with anyone is it's set to two-minute brawls. That's the only thing you can have. So it's just like, eh. But I mean, 
it's it's in one it's one way it is a good thing because like if you ever want to save a replay because you have some really intense match you you're able to because you're under the time limit so that's a pretty good yeah there's a three feature. minute time limit for, there's a three minute time limit for for brawls so that's our review for um <clears throat> for brawl and as you can tell it's it's an amazing game with a ton of options uh, and you can do a lot with it. It's it's definitely worth the money. I'm not sure yeah. how much it is now, but it's like 45, maybe somewhere 50. It's like it's probably it's probably one of the, if not the most popular game for the Wii, probably. But just think about it. You're paying fifty dollars for 369 hours of fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna be posting some narrated Wi-Fi matches and also some some uh, character bios soon. So just keep keep looking at our channel, and we'll probably upload a few videos today. Okay, thanks All for right, watching. And apparently one of our video videos ended up on Smashboards. I don't know anything about that, so I don't know what just happened there. Somebody leave a comment if they know what happened. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, alright. Okay, see, see ya. ya. Aardvark out.